This is an old car, right? Well, no. You see, this car was unveiled to the world in 2023 at the prestigious Goodwood Festival of Speed. This is the Auto Union Type 52, which represents a blend of historical ingenuity and modern engineering. Originally designed by Ferdinand Porsche for Auto Union in the 1930s, this ambitious project was conceived to create the world's fastest road car, but it was abandoned due to the outbreak of World War II. Nearly 90 years later, Audi, the modern successor of Auto Union, brought this car back to life, surprising enthusiasts with a classic V16 powered beauty that echoed its unbuilt legacy. Now Auto Union, formed in 1932 from the merger of four German automakers, Audi, DKW, Horch and Wanderer, was a formidable presence in Grand Prix racing. Its silver arrows, race cars developed in collaboration with Ferdinand Porsche, challenged Mercedes-Benz for motorsports supremacy. Although the brand ceased to exist in 1969 after merging with NSU to form the modern Audi, its four-ring logo remains as a tribute to its complex history. While Auto Union's most famous cars were racing machines, the company also had plans for a road-going supercar, called the Type 52. This car was conceptualized in 1933 and was designed to be the world's fastest sports sedan. Now, as I said earlier, this vision was shelved before production began due to Germany's increasing focus on the military leaving the Type 52 as a forgotten footnote in Auto Union's story pass. But that was until Audi decided to resurrect it. You see, the Type 52 was originally envisioned to utilize a 4.4-litre supercharged V16 engine from the Auto Union Type A race car, targeting a top speed of 200 miles per hour. This sleek aerodynamic sedan would have been a technological marvel for its time, but as I said, she never got built. Well, that was until now. You see, in recent years, Audi tradition, Audi's department dedicated to preserving its heritage, rediscovered the detailed plans and sketches for the Type 52. With the help of British restoration experts at Crosswave and Gardner, Audi began turning these nearly century-old blueprints into a reality. While staying true to the original design, the team made some modifications including extending the wheelbase to accommodate a new suspension setup and updating the materials to ensure structural integrity. The body retained its original aerodynamic shape, though its length was adjusted to fit the revised chassis. Inside, the Type 52 features a cockpit configuration ahead of its time, a centrally positioned driver's seat flanked by two offset passenger seats. This layout designed in the 1930s would be mirrored decades later by McLaren in the legendary F1 supercar. But to me, the most impressive element of the Type 52 is its engine. The original plan called for a 4.4 litre V16, but the revived project opted for a more powerful 6 litre supercharged V16 from the Auto Union Type C race car. This engine produces an astounding 512 horsepower, far surpassing the 200 horsepower target from the 1930s. The only drawback is its need for a specialized fuel mixture, including methanol, super unleaded gasoline, and toluene. By the way, I would love to make a deep dive video on this car as an engine, so if that's something that you guys would like to see, let me know down below. Anyways, this engine, combined with the car's aerodynamic design, allows the Type 52 to achieve its original goal of 200 miles per hour, ensuring that this what if project could indeed have been a groundbreaking supercar in its time. Now, after years of painstaking work, the Type 52 made its public debut in 2023 at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, with legendary drivers Storm Christensen and Hans Stuck behind the wheel. The crowd at Goodwood, already familiar with Audi's engineering prowess, was taken aback by the combination of vintage elegance and modern performance. The sleek silver-bodied sedan earned a standing ovation, a fitting tribute to the decades of waiting. The Type 52's journey from a forgotten blueprint to a fully realized vehicle showcases the potential of reviving automotive history. It also highlights Audi's dedication to honoring its roots while pushing the boundaries of engineering. Although the Type 52 was overshadowed by Audi's groundbreaking supercars of today, its resurrection serves as a reminder of what could have been during the golden age of pre-war motorsports. 
52 in it of the Auto Union Type 52 is a celebration of both past and present. It bridges the gap between the early days of automotive innovation and modern engineering, showcasing what might have been had history taken a different turn. The revival of this forgotten masterpiece not only honors the engineers who first envisioned it, but also allows today's enthusiasts to witness a piece of history that almost never was. With its V16 engine and sleek design, the Type 52 stands as a testament to Auto Union's and Audi's innovative spirit. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you guys think of this video. What do you think of Audi taking really old blueprints and bringing them to life today? I personally think it's really cool. I mean, this must have cost a lot of money and they're not going to make any money from it, except maybe like some PR and stuff like that. So it is technically a loss in the big scheme of things when you're talking about money, but just the cool factor makes it worth it to me at least. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably like some other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's someone who's like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?